Ashoka University began in a particular way and that is it started as a liberal arts university and the liberal arts in its conception includes not only the humanities and the social sciences but also the natural sciences. What's new about teaching at Ashoka University is that it's a course that while remaining true to the spirit of physics also tries to fit into the Ashoka paradigm which believes in broad-based interdisciplinary kind of education or exposure to students. Science is being taught in harmony with humanities and social sciences, not in conflict with it. Uh, the sciences are not fundamentally about, uh, you know, a sense of being obedient or doing what you're told, right? The sciences are about asking questions. At the same time, you have to build the discipline with which to be able to answer them. We promote learning biology through inquiry. I means we uh, try to ask questions, you know, we, we try to make students to understand the importance of a particular significant biological questions. And then we try to build the theory around it. And this is how they have the feel about the problems in real biological world. Physics is a kind of foundational subject in Ashoka that takes on a different dimension because students who do physics here also get the chance to explore other areas of study and in doing so they can understand not just how physics works within the narrow domain of physics but how physics might work if it were taken out of its proper domain and used elsewhere. Given this immense amount of data, what does the data suggest to us? How can I make computers more creative? All of these are new questions and questions that we are building into the curriculum at Ashoka that forms the basis of a lot of what we do, not just in terms of teaching, also in terms of the research that the faculty is conducting. We also try to arrange the courses in such a way that in the beginning they get an exposure to the idea of physics through two gateway courses and they're able to make a second choice on whether or not to continue into physics after having done those gateway courses. And what we expect and what we want to inculcate in each of our students is this broader education that will help them think, that will help them be creative and that will help them be productive citizens of tomorrow. This overwhelming sense that science is acting not only in the classroom, not only as a text, not only in the laboratory, but everywhere in the life of the campus. So you have a very scientifically alert environment. And we hope that breathing that air will help the students become more aware of science and this will help them inculcate scientific temperament.